Hey everybody, my name is Mike Seifert and this is Ravenview Farm. I wanted to do a little short video and uh, by way of introduction and uh, talk about why I'm starting this channel and what I'd like to achieve here. Um, not gonna lie, say it right off the bat, I'm a big fan of the Millennial Farmer channel and Zach Johnson. Um, I'm also from Minnesota, about the same age, uh, and uh, I agree with a lot of his philosophy that we need to have a good connection between farmers and consumers and uh, help people understand what we do and why we do it. But also, um, there's a lot of good stuff going on with regenerative agriculture right now, and uh, I think that dialogue from farmers to other farmers is really important. And while we can't bring everybody right here to the farm in person, which would be a great thing, uh, we can certainly do the best we can using the digital media that we've got available now. Um, so, I, uh, I'm a fourth generation farmer. Uh, I farm with my dad, Mike Sr., and uh, my mom is here and helps. Uh, my sister, brother-in-law, her kids live nearby, my wife, we're all involved a little bit when we need to be. Um, Dad and I do most of the work, but you know, we've got folks who we call on when we need a hand. Uh, the big difference between us and some of the other farming channels, and especially like the Millennial Farmer channel, is where they're running 2,500 acres, our whole farm is 100. The way that we approach things is very different in the equipment that we're using. A lot of our stuff is older, a lot of our techniques are uh, smaller scale, we do more hand labor, uh, you'll, you're going to see. There's going to be a lot of things that we'll cover as we go along. The other big thing is that we have uh, jumped into the regenerative agriculture stuff with both feet, and we'd like to do more as time goes on. We're using cover crops, we're interseeding things into our corn, we're following our soybeans with uh, winter covers that are going to come up in the spring again. Uh, we're facing a lot of problems with that that we're trying to deal with. So all of those things could be good fodder for somebody. I hope it's good information, basically. Uh, this actually used to be a dairy farm when I was growing up as a kid, and uh, we haven't had cattle here since the late 90s. I would actually like to get cattle back onto this farm, not dairy cattle, because uh, nobody's got time for milking cows. Unfortunately, we have day jobs and other things we do off the farm but I would like to get beef cattle back here, or maybe goats, um, some kind of livestock to be able to incorporate into our cropping system and try to diversify the farm, diversify our income streams. You know, as a, as a small farm, we can't rely on the income that we can get from just grain production, which is kind of what we're doing now along with a little hay. So my goal as the next generation coming along is to add some parallel systems on the farm and to be able to make those systems work together in cycles so that uh, and there's a lot of farmers that are doing that well already and uh, so we're not trying to reinvent the wheel we'd like to take the best ideas from other small farms and start to make those work here but in the meantime I think we'll have a lot to talk about about what we're doing and uh, kind of be able to compare and contrast some of the things on a small farm versus some of the things that you could see on like the Millennial Farmers channel on a large farm um, because I think small farms are just as viable, I think they're important, um, and that they uh, are, are something that we should still value in our culture. Uh, but it's a different animal. It's definitely a different animal working on a small farm. Well anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much. This was just meant to be a short introduction. Uh, it's September 15th today, and um, so we're late summer here on the farm, and we're, uh, we're looking at uh, harvest time coming up. So we've got equipment to mess with, we've got uh, some other preparation things to do. Um, and I do want to talk about, this was our first big year with the regenerative practices that we've been uh, starting to implement. So I'd like to take some time and cover what we've done so far this year, bring up the speed a little bit so that when we go through harvest time and follow up, you know, you can kind of understand where we're at um, and talk about some of the things we'd like to do. Uh, we've definitely had some challenges here this year that uh, you know, we need to be full disclosure about the things that we face that haven't gone well <laughs> and how we're hoping to overcome some of that uh, in the next year. You know, we have a winter to think about that and to plan for 2020. Uh, so that I'd like to take, take you guys through some of those things too. So um, 
yeah, I really appreciate how some other farmers on YouTube explain what they're doing, and that's what I'd like to do too, but just as it pertains to the small family farm. So uh, I hope that you enjoy, and uh, we're going to look forward to doing some more videos coming up.